The world seems so fresh after a storm, so intent on putting tragic moments behind. I know you ain't got nothing to eat. Cows and grass and every living thing rebuilding. But some cannot. This house on the hill was Eulis Bell's dream. Ten years ago, he left a job in New York to come home and build it. His daughter Fifi lived just across the gully, his wife's sister on top of the next hill. Both their homes were destroyed too. The sister's three-year-old son was blown from her arms and found dead 300 yards away. Bell's wife was crushed to death between two walls in their kitchen. He had to use a sledgehammer to get her body out. His mother-in-law, baby daughter, and grandson were lost in the darkness. When I found them, they was over there, and she was, uh, I don't know, I, she was on her knees on top of them like she was trying to protect them. I had to take a... Tornado stories are filled with miraculous tales of people who were saved. They become clippings in the memory to tell the grandchildren. In time, the horror is forgotten. <coughs> Euless Bell can't live long enough to forget this. Well, I had to dig them out. Bob Dotson, NBC News, small town, South Carolina. <laughs>